Okay, Professor Hazard, aka Meep Meep, wanted me to check out something from the Volgan, and this is on SCP-1678, Unlondon. Considering this is done by the Volgan, I know that I need to set certain mood lighting. So, I shall do so. Right meow. Uh, let's see, it's about London, so let's just go, hmm, uh, Hail Britannia, there we go, okay. There we go, a little bit less, a little bit less, there we go, all right, so we're set. So, this is going to be on Unlondon, it's an object class Euclid, subterranean SCP. I'm not going to really speak on it, the last time I watched something from the Vulgan, I was hoping for something a lot less, um diabolical and terrifying than I normally get from the Vulgan, and I got the Pesterbot. I don't know what to expect from this. We will see. In any, in any case, we're going to learn some stuff, and we're going to have some fun. It's the Vulgan. The video is going to be awesome. Let's get into it. Good morning, everyone. My name is Researcher Miller, and the SCP we're going to be studying today is SCP-1678, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-1678 remains only partially contained. Hmm. Mobile Task Forces Tau-4 and Epsilon-6 have succeeded in establishing a defense perimeter around the Hyde Park District of SCP-1678. With cases of SCP-1678-A largely ceasing their attacks on the perimeter of the Foundation-held area. A long-term research base is currently under construction, and Mobile Task Force commanders are preparing an assault on the SCP-1678 Natural History Museum with the intent of capturing a forward command post to direct defense efforts. What? Current short-term aims involve the capture of an extension of the defensible perimeter to the SCP-1678 Natural History Museum, and to research and ascertain the origins, construction, and weaknesses of the SCP-1678-A entities. Long-term aims involve efforts to halt, hinder, or control the reduction of SCP-1678-A entities, and to assault the SCP-1678 Houses of Parliament, where the being, entity, or intelligence responsible for the creation of SCP-1678 is believed to reside, and to capture and contain the aforementioned being. Considering it's the House of Parliament, and considering this is un-London, uh, 20 bucks for Guy Fox. Description. SCP-1678 is a full-scale mirror image reconstruction of the British city of London, located exactly one kilometer underneath the original city of London. Okay. Currently, only the Hyde Park district of SCP-1678 has been explored, but all buildings, at least, within the explored district correlate exactly to their surface counterparts in terms of location as well as the exterior size and shape, huh. although rarely in terms of architecture, building material, and interior layout. The city has been constructed to resemble the city as it was in the Victorian era, with constructions designed to resemble traditional gas lighting prevalent on the streets, and with all modern buildings in the original city of London being represented in a Victorian style of architecture. Most notably, the skyscrapers of the business district. Really? Illumination is infrequent and unreliable and it is unknown how SCP-1678 has acquired a steady oxygen and gas supply. Okay. SCP-1678 is believed to have been constructed instantaneously by unknown means, with the SCP-1678 Houses of Parliament serving as the epicenter for the construction process. This is evidenced by the fact that as distance from the Houses of Parliament increase, there is an exponentially increasing frequency of flaws in the construction of SCP-1678 such as houses built entirely out of copper pipes or other unconventional materials. Gas lights being little more than a metal rod topped with a floating orb of light, buildings containing no floors, and at the furthest explored distance from the epicenter, no windows or doors. Aside from the Foundation occupants and cases of SCP-1678-A, B, and C, SCP-1678 is believed to be uninhabited. It's almost like somebody was reconstructing something from memory. Like, completely from memory. SCP-1678 is believed to have been constructed with the intent to harbor the survivors of an XK-class end-of-the-world event. This is evidenced by an audio recording that will activate and play 
upon any person entering the city. The following is SCP-1678 audio recording. Okay. Entrance to On London. My fellow citizens, if you are hearing this tape, then the world as we knew it has finished. The sky has broken. The ground heaves with a tramp of terrible feet, and all the horror and madness from the dark corners of the world has broken free to exact its vengeance on the world of man. Those who sought to contain them are killed or scattered, and we soon learned that to attempt to fight these creatures is almost invariably to face one's death. Hmm. Countless billions have been slaughtered in their attempt to sate their endless appetite for death, and there is nothing, was nothing we could do to stop them. Evil has raised its bloody flag upon all nations of the world and crowned its unholy victory to the broken sky. Yes, this is the end, but there is a new hope. Welcome to Un London, a city of survivors, a city of the free. Together, fellow citizens, we will wait and prepare for the new beginning, the grand new world that is soon to come. Let the world above burn. We will endure. Let the monsters have their world. We will prepare and let the ground tremble with a new Armageddon as evil consumes itself. For I tell you, citizen, upon the day of the ruination of man, their insatiable appetites will turn them against one another in their endless lust for death. We will wait. No. Yeah. And I tell you, citizen, that there will be a new morning and you will emerge from un London and stand blinking in the sun as our children play and laugh in the bones of horrors long dead. And you will walk hand in hand to the sea, our faces skywards, as the rising sun ushers in the new age of man. And you will gather, citizen, at my feet as I summon un London from its rest. And it shall burst phoenix-like from the ashes of the earth. And on that day, citizen, there shall be a new order as we raise the Union flag over the entire world. I welcome you to un London, the last city. And the first. Huh. That is... I, I'm always amazed at how people write this stuff. And... This is honestly, I, I always wind up saying this during SCP videos, but I've, the, the, my interests in this and my enjoyment of SCP is derived from how creative and how different these are from everything else. Now, I want to know why they are trying to take the city, because this doesn't seem like something that they would want to disrupt. They would want to... I, I'm, if it was me, I'd be looking to align my interests with it, but that just shows you how little I know. So apparently there's something darker about this that has yet to be said, so I want to see exactly what's going on with this. I don't know if this is something that just has a dark side to it that is just not clear yet. So far, I haven't seen anything that would be a, you know, kind of like a dark side to this. In any case, let's go. There are other audio recordings here. I will describe each one before I play it. Okay. The following message is relayed on the end of every hour. The time is nine o'clock. All is well. Obviously, so like every a watch. hour wouldn't say nine o'clock. For any of you of smart asses out there, <laughs> that was just an example. This plays on approaching any bank or police station. Citizen, you are entering a restricted area. Have your authorization papers ready. A bobby will arrive to escort you shortly. Warning, a single case of SCP-1678-A will be summoned. 
On being cited by a case of SCP-1678-A, the following audio lines play. Halt! Police! Drop your weapons! Huh. Come now! Let's be having you! Police! Don't run! So, apparently they're- apparently on the way and they're fighting this thing's version of the police. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. Randomly, once per hour. The messages below are selected examples of the 1678 observed audio recordings. Huh. No one is safe from the influence of mimetic beings. Have yourself assessed today. You could be possessed by a mimetic horror and not even know it. Psych assessments are free and easy. Visit a clinic today. Do you find light uncomfortable? Huh. Identifying a cortex worms infection early makes them possible to remove. Speak to your doctor today. Have you noticed anyone acting oddly? Tell a body immediately. Crime will not be tolerated in un-London, I warn you. The tormentors of society will become its defenders. So all the bobbies were former, are in this thing's view, criminals. Okay, let's go. Evil can walk in human form and human flesh. Stay vigilant. I need... I seriously need Patrick Stewart to voice this thing, I'm just saying. Are you frequently anxious or depressed? It could be a symptom of the pattern, Screamer's influence. Notify a Bobby immediately. Hmm. Ensure you are well rehearsed in all breach protocols. There is no excuse for panic or confusion during drills. Can't make ends meet? Do not be ashamed. Bryson's home for the poor is here to help. I rule in the interests of the many, not the few. There are no special privileges. Swelling and abnormal growths are an early sign of the slaver man's possession. Report any abnormal sickness to your doctor immediately. I'm still waiting for it to get bad. Each and every one of you is responsible for the safety of un-London and its citizens. Be watchful. I'm still waiting for it to get sh just Most absolutely Most buildings within SCP-1678 appear to have been outfitted for the purpose of extremely dense inhabitation, with closely grouped steel bunk beds, a common feature in any building suitable for the purpose. Foundation researchers have advised that most explored buildings within SCP-1678 are unfit for human habitation. Due to a high performance of mold, damp, and poor construction within these buildings, some buildings are outfitted for other purposes. Most notably, the SCP-1678 version of the Natural History Museum, which is featuring an exhibit titled The Fall of Man, and contains representations of several known SCP entities, and images and artwork depicting apocalyptic settings. Okay. The key threat posed by SCP-1678 is by entities referred to in some SCP-1678 audio recordings as Bobbies. Bobby is known to be a Victorian era British slang term for policeman, henceforth referred to as SCP-1678-A. These entities are constructed out of human corpses crudely dismembered at the head, wrists, knees, and elbows, and reassembled using industrial hinges and screws. Huh. The head is always wrapped in bandages. They are dressed in a uniform similar to Victorian-era police and are extremely hostile towards Foundation personnel, attacking them on sight with improvised weapons. These attacks are always preceded by SCP-1678-A emitting a noise similar to that of a policeman's whistle and all loudspeakers within 100 meters emitting the audio recording, Police. Halt. Criminal. Huh. Instances of SCP-1678-A are extremely resistant to damage, with only high caliber rounds and explosive weapons proving sufficient to destroy them. They are believed to originate from a building named Bryson's Home for the Poor, as evidenced by an inmate-style jumpsuit worn under the uniform. Lovely. To what extent they interact with other SCP-1678 entities is unknown. The following is SCP-1678-B Overview. Okay. SCP-1678-B, Role Surveillance. 
also known as eyes in the sky. Cases of SCP-1678-B are biomechanical constructs which resemble that of a small avian life form. They are composed of central mass of a red organic matter, stitched together by a copper exoskeleton that resembles a spine and wing bones. The head has okay. been demonstrated to be a small video camera, and remnants of feathers and plastic on the exterior suggests they were once intended to resemble a pigeon. <laughs> Cases of SCP-1678-B are known to possess no offensive or destructive capabilities. Yet their ability to track task force movements should not be underestimated. As it is currently known, if they are capable of communicating with or summoning cases of SCP-1678-A, cases of SCP-1678-B are relatively simple to contain or destroy. Yet their large numbers makes their observation of Foundation activities extremely difficult to stop. Lovely. Occasional posters throughout the Foundation explored area allude to their existence. These posters display an image of a small pigeon observing criminal activity beneath the title, On London's Eyes in the Sky, alongside a small message to the effect that anyone destroying or vandalizing an eye in the sky faces up to six weeks in the unit. And this is the SCP-1678-C overview. Okay. SCP-1678-C, role unknown, also known as Wretch. Lovely. Cases of SCP-1678-C resemble a humanoid figure dressed in rags. They appear to be of old age and are usually, although not always, female. They have always been encountered outside the Foundation-held area. There have been very few direct encounters with SCP-1678-C entities, and it is currently unknown how many cases exist or to what level of threat they pose to Foundation security or safety. Encounters typically feature cases of SCP-1678-C sitting on a street corner with a begging dish, whereupon they will attempt to attract the pity or mercy of any Foundation personnel within their proximity with pleading or begging for food or money. So, so far we have panhandlers, police, and pigeons. <sighs> Lovely! Supplying a case of SCP-1678-C with food will cause them to begin weeping before dematerializing with a burst of dense black smoke. Foundation personnel are currently under instruction to not interact with them. They are briefly alluded to in a SCP-1678 audio recording. Do not pity the wretch. Allow them to pay the price of their betrayal for all eternity. Remember, citizen. On the day on London rises, I shall reward the loyal, but traitors shall be forever damned. Okay. And finally, this is SCP-1678-D Overview. SCP-1678-D, Roll Food Supply, also known as Dr. Goody's Wonder Food. Okay. SCP-1678-D is believed to be the primary food source on offer in the event that SCP-1678 receives full-scale occupation. SCP-1678-D is freely and easily available from steel vending machines installed in virtually every building or structure outfitted for the purpose of habitation. The vending machines are upright steel pumps similar in size and shape to that of a modern petrol pump, containing a slot for the receiving of coins and a flexible rubber hose ending in a trigger-operated nozzle that will deploy half a liter of 1678D upon appropriate payment. All, right. All vending machines display the legend Dr. Goody's Wonder Food alongside an image of a smiling child enjoying a bowl of SCP-1678D and text bubbles advising that 1678D costs just a farthing a bowl, that it contains all the nutrients you need, and completely restores health and vitality. It is proven to be extremely attractive to cases of SCP-1678-B, C, an unknown species of colored mollusk, which has been observed feeding on any spillages. Huh. SCP-1678-D is a synthetic starch gel, heavily enriched with various minerals, vitamins, fats, and bulking agents. In addition to this, it contains several unknown molecular structures and various engineered DNA helixes carried within synthetic cellular structures. It has the same consistency and taste as porridge. That's disgusting. 
I, I, no. As advertised, it contains all the nutrients necessary for short-term survival. However, Foundation researchers have advised that over a period of more than six weeks, users of SCP-1678-D will become dangerously underweight due to low levels of fat and protein within SCP-1678-D, and are at a strong likelihood of contracting illnesses, such as scurvy, if survival is attempted by consuming SCP-1678-D alone. SCP-1678-D appears to be purposely engineered to manipulate the psyche of the regular consumers. Through a mixture of unknown molecular compounds, regular consumers are more obedient to authority, are less likely to commit acts of violence, and are less likely to engage in sexual intercourse, have a reduced capacity for fear or panic, and have consistently high morale. In addition, it also has engineered side effects, such as depressive symptoms and headaches if a subject suddenly abandons consuming scp 1678 d Due to the difficulty of creating food within SCP-1678, SCP-1678-D would serve as the primary food source in the event of a large-scale habitation. Foundation personnel are forbidden to consume SCP-1678-D, even in okay. small amounts. Not all vending machines produce SCP-1678-D to the same quality, with some machines deploying corrupted forms that have induced severe mental or physical abnormalities or death within the consumer it is why would you eat anything that came out of this place if currently unclear what entity being or intelligence is responsible for the creation and maintenance of scp-1678 it is unclear as to what event or disaster scp-1678 is being prepared for hmm. all right chances are if you are assigned to this scp you'll be trying to find that out this concludes my lecture for today. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye. Okay. So. Oh, okay. So where to even start with this one? So where to even start? Okay, so. The one thing that is kind of getting to me is the bobbies themselves. The, the instances of. 70 uh, 1678a are not are they hostile to everyone or just foundation members that are armed uh he didn't mention any unarmed parties he didn't mention any explorations or anything like that and no people besides the wretches of course and um oh wow there's so much to unpack in this and this is why i love scp there you could write novels about this you could write there, there's so much to explore so much to see so much to do with this and the little levels of detail okay so of course the the in the, the food in this place would be better towards the center and rotten at the end flat out it would be disgusting um i'm loving how this was put together and I'd like to see stories based around Unlondon, about the exploration of it, and about it. Can you talk to the? Can you talk to the Bobbies? Will they respond to you? Can you? They, you know, what happens if somebody unarmed goes in there and and tries to explore? What is the? I need more. Just like with several other places, several other SCPs that are about locations, I just need more when it comes to this kind of stuff. Oh, it's it's just it's it's just good, guys. It's just good. There's so I have yet to see an SCP so far that I didn't think could be used to in in a show or in a horror movie or just a paranormal movie. This is another one of those things. Uh, one of these days, we're going to have good, you know, movies and good TV shows again. Until then, I am very happy with SCP. I am extremely happy with it. Well, the Vulgan has, uh, he has a whole bunch of links that are going to be in the description down below. He actually has one master link for all the rest of his links. He also has a merch store. So be sure to check down in the description for that. I'm wanting to either, I, I can't decide what I want to get. I think I'm going to make a poll. 
of what I want to get from his shop to put up on here because me and the hospital are going to move in the next six months. Well, next four now, hopefully. And I'm going to get a shelf and there's some, there's SCP creators have been put, have, you know, merch stores. And I'm planning on getting some from all of them, like SCP Story and Animation, SCP Illustrated, The Vulgan, um, anybody that has it. I'm going to be putting their stuff up there. It's going to be good. In any case, like I said, all of this links are going to be in the description down below, as well as my own, including a Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. And I really appreciate my Patreons. You guys do not know how much you guys have been helping me out over the past couple of months. I'm actually going to, um, be getting a painting pretty soon to be putting up here. I'm in about three or four days. I'm going to be getting something to put up there. It's going to be, it's just going to be nice. <laughs> in any case, um, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe and throw a comment down in the comment section. Wow, what was that? And throw a comment in the comment section down below. I'm going to go before I keel over dead because that must certainly be a sign of the apocalypse. Me basically not being able to talk. Or, or, that, or that's just literally Monday. In any case, I'll catch you guys next time.